Welcome back to That Dad Guy. It's July 28, 2023, and we've got some mail to go through today. Lots of nice things have shown up, so we're going to go through official post crossing that's arrived, which is not a lot, and then we'll go through the direct swaps that came in as well. Uh, the other thing we want to talk about is uh, channel growth and uh, growth in the backyard. We may even go, if you stick around, I'll go for a little walk around and show you the jungle that's back there. I haven't had a lot of uh, opportunities to trim it back, so it is getting out of hand. Uh, but yeah, I'll show you that too. So I'm going to start with saying thank you so much to all of you who are helping getting this channel up and over now 900 subscribers. I noticed at the filming of this, we were at 901. So uh, that's uh, getting towards that goal of 1000. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I'll have to put something together probably this coming week. Uh, might be doing a contest and a giveaway. Um, just to celebrate uh, getting to 900. So I'm pleased about that. And uh, I know you guys have all played a huge part in getting there uh, from whether it's your contributions that sometimes you guys send things in and I get to make videos about that. Uh, you text me uh, suggestions either in the comments of videos or through Instagram. And uh, you'll notice on Instagram too, I've switched it over to that dad guy 1974. So if you're looking for me, you can just type that in, you'll find it. And um, yeah, I think that's where we're at now, and uh, I'm pleased, so thank you so much. Now, I want to start with the official post crossing. I only have one, so it's not going to take very long. So, the first one I have is this one here. A nice Beatles postcard comes from the United States. This person is from South Dakota, also loves the Beatles. Her favorite album since childhood was the Magical Mystery Tour, and... Uh, it's one of my favorites too. There's so many great hits that came off that album. Um, there are some other other cool albums that came out too, but that one was kind of an upbeat one. And uh, yeah, lots of fun things came from that album. So I agree with you. Great album. Here are the stamps. So we've got one of the new um, new stamps that are out now, and then we've got a couple of the older stamps that are around it. So it's always nice to see a few different things. I also want to talk about this coming soon. Uh, you see how they've stickered. I recently bought a uh, label maker, which I think is great for my swaps and things. And then Renee told me something about printing the addresses. Um, I always print the addresses off. So I've got a copy of um, everybody's uh, wish list and things in front of me. So when I'm going to look for things, I've got it there. Never ever occurred to me to cut out the address and stick it on the card like this or cut out the post crossing ID and stick it on the card like this until Renee had mentioned that. And I was like, well, why haven't I been doing this for years? So I'm probably gonna do a video next week on uh, putting together a postcard or uh, uh, sending out a postcard and uh, show you some of the things that I've learned over the last couple of years anyways of doing post crossing. And some of them are almost brand new things that I've learned and I was like, why did I ever do that before? But yeah, we're getting there. One little thing at a time, you're always learning something new. Anyways, thank you, Karen, as I got off track uh, about the Beatles postcard. All right, let's get into some direct swaps. Uh, first, we have this one here that was sent to me. This comes from Lila in Maryland. Well, kind of comes from Lila in Maryland. It was sent to her from Bulgaria originally, and she decided to uh, recycle a card and send it back. So she sent it like this on the back. There's her stamp. I'm not sure why it got canceled by the post office and then got canceled again by a postal employee, but it did. And uh, so she took a card that was originally sent to her. She put washi tape over the stamps at the bottom, not to confuse, and then had a uh, message here saying, take the washi tape to see the stamps underneath. So it was kind of like when we were talking about chain letters and you could put one stamp on and send it and send it and send it. So she thought she'd try that. Some beautiful stamps from Bulgaria. One of the things that I would recommend or uh, caution if you're going to try this, make sure you don't get washi tape that's super sticky. This was super sticky and uh, so it took off, I don't know if you can see it there, it took off parts of the stamp. So it took off this part of the stamp and some in here and ripped up a bit here. So yeah, it can be damaging for the stamps, but you still get the idea. And this is just a beautiful uh, Bulgarian bridge and train and uh, just kind of a, a corner souvenir sheet that has all the extra bits around the stamp too. So really cool, Lila. I like the idea. I like uh, what you've done there. And so interesting way to recycle a card. Get two uses out of one. All right. The next card I have comes from Lisa. 
And she sent me this one of Manhattan. You can see his day and night. You can see uh, messages through as well, where uh, on the other side there are the stamps. And so Lisa has, uh, she says, it's kind of like tr talking to a celebrity. I'm far from a celebrity, so, but I do appreciate the comment. And uh, uh, I will continue to make uh, post-crossing videos and all sorts of other videos too. So I'm glad that you watch and uh, you're getting something from them. And uh, it's always nice just having people to know that they're watching, watching what you're doing and liking what you're doing too. So thank you very much, Lisa, for that. And uh, she's got Let's Go Yankees. Yes, Let's Go Yankees. Uh, Aaron Judge looks like he's coming back today, and we certainly need him. Uh, we've kept our own for a little bit. We haven't fallen completely off, but we are in last place in the division right now. Eight and a half games back of Baltimore, who was in the first. Uh, so we need to get our act together, get our pitching uh, going, and getting our bats going again. So Aaron Judge certainly will help with the bats. All right, the next card I have uh, comes from Kara in Washington. We've got this nice uh, American flag postcard. So she said uh, she was watching one of my videos and it gave her an idea. She was talking about the uh, chain card that I, I brought up and that was uh, sending a card from one person to another to another and just trying to keep the, see how many stamps I could get on it. Instead, she decided just to fill the back card of this with a whole bunch of American stamps. That's a great idea too. It's kind of nice to get a card full of stamps. Judy sent me a card full of stamps last week and uh, only had enough room basically to tell me who it was from. Uh, she sent me from Florida, so I really like this. And see these stamps here? She's cut them off of an envelope and pasted them on too. So they weren't necessarily uh, needed for the postage to get the stamp or get the card moving, but uh, she's just added some other ones in. So great idea, Kara, thank you. The next card I have is kind of a maxi card and it comes from Sweden, it comes from Katja. And Katya sends me this nice little cottage. You can see a really cool cancellation mark there with the Swedish crowns. And uh, she said she'd love to live like in a cottage like this somewhere in the woods. It looks very peaceful, that's for sure. And there are the stamps on the back. Thank you very much, Katya. The next card comes from France. Kaha. And this comes from Amr. And... Uh, she is currently building a house here in this town, so she would give me an idea. What an amazing bridge with the uh, towers above it. Uh, I would enjoy walking across that and taking pictures and video. And it just looks like an amazing town. There are so many, and you can see the bridge there down below. So many amazing towns throughout Europe. Uh, all the history that's there um, on the back. <gasps> You've got some beautiful stamps. This one here, nice round stamp, but it's framed off in a square <coughs> excuse me we've got some food we've got a french flag there too uh some wine so all sorts of things on the go there so thank you so much for that she says her lavender fields are starting to bloom so must smell nice there as well all right the next card comes from here in canada it comes from monty in saskatchewan and uh, he was just saying hello on the back of the card and uh, was hoping that uh, I'm having a nice summer and is enjoying all the videos so far. You can see these green elevators on the other side, Canadian prairies. And then on the back, he's included a couple older stamps. So thank you so much, Monty. It's always great hearing from you and uh, hopefully you're having a great summer, even if it is a bit dry. All right. This next card, North Carolina. This comes from Sarah in North Carolina. Uh, she sent me a card uh, once before that had uh, an art installation of Lego and a really cool design that someone had. It was kind of someone ripping his chest. It was all in yellow, ripping his chest open and all the Lego bricks falling out of it. Um, yeah, it's an art installation. I'd really love to see at one point in time, but she sent that to me, the art of the brick. And so now she sends me this card here, and she uh, also dotted it with some beautiful stamps, including a nice baseball stamp, some vintage stamps in there. So I really appreciate that, Sarah. It's always nice to connect, and uh, she's given me her connection, too, through uh, Post Crossing as well. 
right, this next card is a maxi card. And this one, you may tell, comes from the United Kingdom. And of course, comes from our friend Jilly B, living her life her way here on YouTube. Uh, part of the unicorn gang, as you can see with the unicorn sticker. And a cool otter sticker of the same uh, uh, series that this one comes from. So you've got a dipper on this side. And thank you so much. And she's even got a little hedgehog down there. And the Ukraine piece, as always. Jilly B also sent another one. We have this one here. It's a Harry Potter Lego card. And she's adorned it with Harry Potter stickers and a Harry Potter stamp. And uh, yeah, all sorts of things on the go there. And another unicorn down below. Thank you, Jilly. Always fun getting those cards. And I never turned down a nice Lego card. All right, this next card comes from Austria. This comes from, uh, I'll flip it this way for a minute. This comes from Daisy in Austria, or Anita in Austria. And here are all the people that attended the meetup in Innsbruck. And a nice big cancellation over the stamp. And there's some history about this rock formation. Let's uh, read it real quickly here for you. It says, when Frau Hilt, a giant queen, met a poor woman asking for bread, she gave her a piece of rock instead. And or when her son came home dirty, she ordered that he should be cleaned with bread. Both events end with Frau Hilt being turned into stone. Until today and beyond, this hard-hearted woman sits on her horse high above Innsbruck, cursed for eternity. So that is the legend of this peak in Innsbruck. Interesting tale. All right, my next card is a vintage card. This one comes from Helen in PEI. It's been a while since I've heard from Helen, so it's kind of nice to get a card from her. Uh, it's in French here. It says, do your cigarettes taste differently lately? That's the translation. Um, if, you dr if you're making um, cigarettes from the tobacco that uh, this dog seems to be uh, using as a washroom, well, they probably do. So. Thank you, Helen. And we have one of the old, not old, but uh, when the Queen's Platinum Jubilee came along, this is the stamp that was issued for that. So thank you so much, Helen. My next card comes from Kathy in Ontario. And he says, happiness is not part of the job description. Well, for some people, happiness isn't part of the job description. There are sour pusses in all jobs. And uh, you have to make uh, do with the people you work around. And uh, hopefully you're not the sour boys that's working. But uh, she sent this this card to me. And then we've got a picture of the queen in the stamps. Someone's pen cancelled it. Um, hurts a little bit more when they pen cancel a, an image of the queen now that she's passed. Oh, well, it happens. And then uh, Kathy wasn't done. She sent another card as well. She sent this one here. Uh, recently, we've had the fairy stamps. A set of five that have come out and uh, it's kind of like a maxi card because she found this card and uh, she has been on it a couple times on this ferry uh, as a child and then uh, again uh, in as late as 2019 she went with her family when they were doing a lighthouse tour and there on the back got a nice big canadian flag and then the whole message there so thank you kathy for that all right that's it for my postcards nice little bundle this week happy about that and um yeah let's go outside i'm gonna put, throw some shoes on and we'll have a quick walk all right open it up into the jungle now i say jungle because that's our clothesline right there <laughs> you can tell we haven't used the clothesline yet this year because this giant thing and let can see on these leaves there's some sort of growth on them it's okay it's a weed as far as i'm concerned uh, I should chop it down and uh, make way for other things. You can see the grape vines and uh, you can see the grapes that are starting and there are lots of grapes. I think because we had such a uh, wet June and start to July and now we've had uh, great heat for two weeks straight that I'm gonna have a pretty good crop of grapes I think. They're coming way out here. I haven't had a chance yet to use the fire pit. So I gotta get at that, but it's either been dreadfully hot, so I don't wanna sit in front of a fire, or it's been raining. So you can see that the bricks are wet because we had rain last night, but it is dry now, which is good. 
which way should we go all right let's go along the back here first you can see uh, the cedars are here but we've got some raspberries i was mowing the other day so uh there are a few less raspberries because i ate them <laughs> but yeah raspberry they're pretty good and we have a grapevine here coming through and then last year I'd planted these nice boxwoods down here and I had four of them up here they all died so I've taken them out I've put some more dirt in you can see my dirt is going down so I'm not sure it is draining out somewhere or it's being dug out by animals maybe but yeah I watch that some of my climbing plants here haven't survived but the boxwoods are doing okay all right we're coming around here we can see we have some um, pears on the pear tree more grapes grapes everywhere all up there all growing everywhere we have more raspberries of a different variety. So the last ones are red, these ones are purple. And we have more weeds, things that need to be grown out. My rhubarb is getting covered over by weeds. These are my favorite raspberries, yellow raspberries. I don't know if you've ever seen or had yellow raspberries, but these are the sweetest you can find. Now, this apple tree, I cut it way back last year. And so this year it is fighting back and I'm producing so much fruit. A lot of it probably will not be good or because when you have this much fruit, sometimes they just go bad, but it really needs to be pruned off because it's weighing down the branches so much. There are five different apples on this tree. These are mock cherries here in the corner and then there's apples that are coming from my neighbor's apple tree <laughs> that have come over onto the property. Let's go this way. Let's see what else we got going on. Here, you can see the blueberries. They're getting nice and big. This is a high bush blueberry plant. Some of them are actually getting some color to it. These, sometimes I find they get... Uh, the birds get to them before I get to them. And here we've got a black currant plant that is going nuts, but I don't think it has much in the way of fruit on it yet. All right, let's sneak into the tunnel I have here. So I am underneath all this. These are all grapevines and kiwi. Let's see what we can find here at the entrance in the way of fruit. There's definitely grapes are gonna be here. Grapes, grapes, grapes. Oh, there you can see the kiwis. Oh, we got a lot of kiwis. It's gonna be a bumper crop of fruit for kiwis this year off this. I have to trim this back too because my poor neighbor is getting all my vines of grapes. But they're everywhere. So a lot of grapes. <laughs> Come to the front. I did mow this week, so the grass has been mowed. Uh, come across the front lawn here real quick. And this is another area that needs to be weeded out. I put down some grass seeds, so some of it is coming through. And uh, this area is just taking off with the amount of water that's been coming through it. So it needs really some good attention. And some of these branches need to be trimmed too. They're starting to get a little heavy and droopy. Come around this side of the house. We have some flowers. Kind of wilted now. And hostess. Lots and lots of it. That brings me backyard. So there you go, a little post crossing. Uh, a little talking about subscribers and uh, a tour through the jungle which is my uh, backyard right now and a mosquito on my head that's what happens when a heat rain more heat the bugs start coming out
Anyways, that's all I got for now. So tomorrow is that dad guy answer. So make sure you get your questions in for that. Uh, I've got a lot more cards have come in with my monthly answer to what is your favorite summer treat. And uh, the first Saturday of August, I will be reading those cards off to you. And uh, tomorrow, I'm going to be answering whatever questions you have left for me on last Saturday's video. So if you haven't gotten it in yet, uh, go in, write me a question, and I'll answer it tomorrow. The other thing that's happening this weekend, we've got some more festivals that are happening. So I'm hoping to get out to one, if not two, of the different ones that are happening this weekend. So you might see some extra videos. Stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed, and we'll talk to you soon. Have a magical week. Like, follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy?